family, friends, can we get an applause for these good-looking guys here, please, huh? Friends, would you please rise? She's good. All right. Family, friends, thank you for joining us here in uh, beautiful Margaritaville, where it's extremely warm sometimes, huh? Thank you for everybody for sitting on the left, by the way. That's pretty cool. Thank you for joining us here for this joyous occasion. We welcome all of you who have traveled from near and very, very far to be participants as we get to witness God join two into one today. Now, who's Mary? How you doing? And who's... Uh, Baby sister? Oh, baby sister. I, uh, how you doing? All right. So now I ask, who presents this woman to be married to this man? We do. We do. All right. Tyrone, go get her. Go. <laughs> Family, friends, you may be seated, including the people that are late. Come on down. Have a seat. <laughs> Place your hands in his. Look into each other's eyes. And listen carefully. Family, friends, we're gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of everyone here to join together Tyrone and Yvette in holy matrimony. This is truly an honorable estate. It's instituted by God and it signifies to us that union which only exists between Christ and his church. Therefore, I congratulate you both on this new chapter, this new adventure, but above all, this new blessing as you enter to be husband and wife. Has a nice ring to it, huh? Yeah. Today, God will join two people as one, two people whose hearts and spirits are already entwined as one. Now, those of you here who know Tyrone and Yvette can also attest to their love for one another, to the blended hopes, dreams, and goals that they share. And so it is now that Tyrone and Yvette will profess before God, their family and their friends, of their desire to henceforth 
walk the road of life together as one. Now, the book of Ecclesiastes states that though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Today, Tyrone and Yvette will be woven together by God as one in marriage, one man, one woman, and God at the center. Today, their marriage enters into a covenant with and for God's glory. Today, we celebrate love, commitment, friendship, and family. However, today... We're here because they're making a choice. You both have chosen to be with someone who believes in you, someone who makes you smile and laugh, and someone willing to stand side by side through all of life's toughest moments. Proverbs 3.3 3 says, let love and faithfulness never leave you. It says, bind them around your neck and write them on the tablets of your heart. And I read this passage because marriage requires a love that is unconditional. Ooh. That's a tough one. When we love unconditionally in marriage, we see things other people do not see to the qualities that make our beloved special and unique. We get an opportunity to fall in love with inner beauty the same way that God sees us. That being said, the vows you exchange today are precious. These words are sacred. These are promises to always protect one another, to always listen, and to always love each other unconditionally. That means loving with the eyes and the mind of Christ, especially when life throws a little bit of a curveball at you. It's important that Tyrone and Yvette always share with each other and listen openly and without fear, trusting that with God, they will always find the right path when they're unsure of the way. Now, marriage requires more than love. We all know that here. It takes complete trust to know in your hearts that you want only the best for each other. It takes daily dedication to stay open with one another, to learn and grow, even when it's difficult to do so. And lastly, it takes faith. Faith to go forward side by side, hand in hand, together, without knowing what the future holds for the both of you. But knowing that God is leading the way. Mm. Now, family, friends, we all know that marriages are fragile. And I always like to say this. Christ said to his disciples one day, in the book of Matthew, it says that everyone who hears these words of mine and does them are like the wise man who built his house on the rock and the rains fell and the floods came and the winds blew and it beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Tyrone, Yvette, may this marriage be sealed in the image of Christ and on the foundations of his everlasting word. I ask that you give the highest priority to the attention and dedication that your marriage deserves. May your marriage always bring you the excitement it should bring. And may God continue to grant you patience, tolerance, and understanding. And lastly, may you always allow Christ to be at the center of this masterpiece that he is creating today. Now, family, friends, the uncle of the bride, Charles, would like to bless the couple with a reading from 1 Corinthians 13. Charles, come on up. Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envies not. Charity advantage not itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charities never fail, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, 
I spoke as a child. I became as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkness, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now about this faith, hope, and charity, these three, but the greatest of these three is charity, is love. Amen. Let's give Charles a round of applause, please. Reading from the original King James is not always very easy, but well done, sir. All right. Family friends, we just reached the goody part of the ceremony. Oh, yeah. The bride and groom will now state their own personal vows. And Tyrone says, you don't look nervous. You'll go first. Here you go. Yvette, the moment I realized, uh, the moment I met you, I realized how special you are. I saw in you what most people seem to miss. You are smart, passionate, and persistent, but also kind, gentle, and empathetic. You were different from anyone else that I had ever met. Our connection was instant, and our friendship was a rock, keeping us strong through everything life has thrown our way. You are my best friend, and always will be. Although we didn't know it for some time, our souls had joined and our love was inevitable. Before you, I didn't understand what true love was. I did not think I would ever get married again, but our bond opened my eyes to new possibilities. Yeah, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I can feel your love even when we are apart. You are my light when everything is dark. I promise to always be good to you and treat you like the queen you are. I will always honor, protect, and defend you. I will always look out for your best interest. I will respect you and make sure you are not disrespected. I promise to love you through the good times and the bad, through sickness and in health. I will always be faithful and look forward to growing old with you. You are the love of my life and I am overjoyed at becoming your husband today. I love you now and forever. Oh, yeah, let's give this man a round of applause. That's. Oh, man. Okay. Yes. How am I going to go after that one? <laughs> so um, I narrowed it down as best I could. Here we go. Tyrone Patrick Mendoza. When I first met you, I was going through some very difficult battles, and yet that did not deter you from wanting to be a part of my life. Starting out as just really good friends, our bond continued to grow, and the love we had for each other did as well. At such a chaotic time in my life, I turned to God and prayed about life and about us, and I truly do believe that God put us in the right circumstances and places that brought us together. It was then that, that I, we realized that we were meant for each other. You opened your heart to me and my children, and in return, that softened my own heart and allowed me to love you back and to realize that true love really does exist. You kept me calm in all the storms. You made me laugh on some of my darkest days, and, brought, and you brought me an immense amount of joy. I am so excited to start our new life together as husband and wife, as a blended family, of love that extends to one another's children as well as our miracle child to be. Tyrone, I don't just love you for who you were or for who you aspire to become. I love you for the amazing man that you are right now in the present moment. And as your wife, I promise to always honor and respect you, to make you smile and feel loved on the good days as well as the not so good days. I promise to always be there for you and to have your back, to encourage you on days when you may need encouragement and to believe in you and your hopes and dreams. 
And lastly, I promise to always be faithful and to always love you unconditionally as I hold you close to my heart for the rest of my life and beyond. All right, go back to holding hands the way you were before. All right. Family friends, the bride and groom now take their vows. And once again, Tyrone, so you don't look nervous, you go first. Would you please look into her eyes and repeat after me? Hi, Tyrone. I, Tyrone. Take you, Yvette. To be my lawfully. To be my lawfully. Wedded wife. Wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In joy or sorrow. In joy or sorrow. I promise to love. I promise to love. Honor. Honor. And cherish you. And cherish you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Well done, sir. I, Yvette, take you, Tyrone, take you, Tyrone to, be my lawfully, to be my lawfully wedded husband, wedded husband to, have and to, hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this, for this day forward in, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, in, good times and in, bad, in, joy, or sorrow, in joy or sorrow. I promise to love. I promise to love honor and cherish you all the days of my life all right <laughs> caleb jacob come on up <laughs> still got those rings Thank you, Ring Security. Let's get these boys a round of applause. You may have a seat, by the way. Yep. All right. Tyrone, that when you place these rings on each other's fingers today, they will become an ever-present symbol of your mutual love and of the vows that you have exchanged with one another today. Would you please place her left hand into yours? Yvette, I offer this ring, I offer this ring as, a symbol as a symbol of my love, of my love and, devotion. and devotion. Let it always, Let it always be, a reminder be a reminder of my vows to you. Of my vows to you. Go ahead. Tyrone, I offer this ring. I offer this ring as a symbol of my love, of my love and, devotion. and devotion, let it always, let it always be, a reminder be a reminder of my vows, of to, my vows to you. Go ahead. All right. That's good. Go back to holding hands over before. Family, friends, I'm going to end this ceremony with a prayer. Let's bow our heads, please. Heavenly Father, I ask that the love that Tyrone and Yvette be strong and upon the foundation of Christ. We ask that no misunderstanding ever loosen the bond or no passing of the years have the power to dim the light that only you can give, Lord. May they early gain wisdom and discernment for the true values of life. May no circumstances take from them the wholesome peace and the inward satisfaction which only love can give. Lord, I ask that you grant them the vision to look beyond this moment to the generations yet to come. I ask that you guard their marriage and always give them the faith and the wisdom to face together whatever the future may hold. And we ask this in the name above all names, Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Tyrone Yvette, you have each chosen to be joined in marriage today. The Bible states in Matthew 16, it says that what God has joined together, let not man separate. In the presence of your family and friends, you have exchanged vows and made promises. You have opened your hearts to one another and declared your love and your friendship and have united yourself with the exchanging of rings. Therefore, with the blessing of God, it is now my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Tyrone, you may kiss your bride. Woo! That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs>
<laughs> so shy. <laughs> I'm too. <laughs> I would like to present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Mendoza. Woo!